All right. Uh, well, thank you everyone for joining. Um, really appreciate uh, the turnout, uh, especially for Kathy. I apologize th about the early morning. <laughs> um, it is uh, as particularly early. That's okay. I had a I had a call at six a.m. before this one, so now I'm now I'm wide awake. <laughs> oh, great. I'm glad glad we picked a good time then. Um, so uh, appreciate everyone everyone coming. Um, I don't know if I, I just shared my screen. I don't know if folks can see that. Um, if if not, please let me know. Um, the big thing that we need to talk about is uh, how do we split up the tasks as um, as well as um, what additional uh, things we may have missed. Um, so uh, I am just going to uh, go through this the spreadsheet it's all i did was i took people who who volunteered for things and uh, put them in a spreadsheet so we can kind of get a sense of what we're looking for um so if we kind of go through it uh the research and evaluate possible locations paul had had done that uh had volunteered for that i i am happy to also do that um and go if, team what's that <laughs> It said, go team. Yes, we got it. I would assume <laughs> Frederick would also do that if it's in Prague, since that's kind of implied. Um, unfortunately, he was not here, so uh, we will uh, we'll do what we can. Um, evaluate sponsorship program for similar events. Um, Kathy, uh, you had volunteered to do that. Is there anybody else who, who's willing to do that? I'm happy to help, but... Um, I've never actually done sponsorship programs for events that much, so. I don't have any experience. Uh, Eric, uh, since I brought in a couple of colleagues from Satura, would it be mm -hmm. okay before moving forward that we run a quick introduction? I don't know oh. if there's anybody else new. That's a good point. I didn't even think of that. I apologize, Luca. Uh, um, thank you. We kind of did that before you got here, but we didn't really do. Uh, there's some people that hadn't uh -huh. there, so let's okay. go through it now. Um, Davor and Antonia, would you like to do introductions quick for yourself? Uh, yes, Antonia here. Uh, I've been in Satura for a few months now, but I worked here for much longer. Uh, mainly, I'm in charge of writing the technical documentation and other promotional materials and uh, the occasional testing tasks do also come in the way. So, uh, you've met Dava, and Dava can introduce. Yes, uh, I participated last year on the OpenWRT Summit in Berlin, where I had a talk. I met uh, some of you in person last year, so some of you know me already. What I do here at the company is a bit of everything, so to say, from programming to organizing and uh, uh, introducing new team members, technologies, etc., etc. So I would be very interesting, interested to participate in this event on the on the uh, fields that I applied to. And uh, we also got Tamara. Tamara, would you say something about yourself? Uh, currently, I'm working as a business developer manager in Sartura since January, uh, and my interests range from management, marketing, development from inside of the company and externally, um, so I'm very interested in uh, test. Tamara, you, you cut I out there? I uh, showed my interest for uh, uh, run. any social networking accounts we want. Is anyone else having some audio problems? Yeah, it keeps coming out. Oh, yeah. okay. Tamara, you, you're, uh, you're cutting in and out. Yes. Hello? Hi there. Uh, you're, you're cutting in and out your, um, your audio. I don't know if it may be a bad connection or something. 
Yes, I think uh, it is. It's a signal. So actually, I'm working as a business developer manager, and my interests range from management and also to marketing. So I uh, volunteer for running any social media accounts uh, we want for the summit. Awesome. Nice Thank to meet you all. Yes, it's nice, nice to meet you too. We should probably do introduce, introduce everyone else. Um, for those who, who, who don't know me, um, I, I think most people do, but I am the uh, community manager at uh, Purple Foundation. I was tasked with uh, starting the first OpenWRT Summit, and I organized uh, this, uh, this committee for the second one, and we're just going from there. And I am the... I was appointed by this committee as the chair of the committee, so I apparently am the one in control or something. I don't know. Um, Federico, I don't know if you want to do an introduction via text since you can't use your mic right now. Luca, since you're in the car, I can read. I can read it for you. Federico's just saying that he's the uh, core developer of OpenWisp project at OpenWisp.org and contribute to many other free software projects. Okay, thank you. Yep. Okay. Um, Hans, would you like to do a quick introduction? Yes. Uh, I'm a software architect and technical, and uh, I'm also one of the open, one of the lead uh, core developers. Thank you, Hans. Um, Kathy? Uh, yes, I currently work at Arduino and uh, had a little bit of uh, involvement in getting this OpenWT-related project off the ground, but happily we have Eric in the loop to do all the work. <laughs> so now I just participate, practically. Well, thank you, Kathy. Um, I assume I assume the people at such are already know Luca, so we won't do an introduction for Luca. That's fair. Um, Paul, would you like to do a quick introduction? Sure. Uh, so I work at Imagination Technologies. I'm currently product owner for our IoT Creator Kit, um, and the hub on that kit runs OpenWRT, and we obviously contribute to a lot of open source stuff as well. Awesome. Thank you. All right. Um, thank you very much, and uh, really appreciate all, all the new people here. Um, so uh, evaluating sponsorship programs, is there anybody else who, who, who would be willing to, to jump in there and you know kind of help out with that? I, this isn't an area that I have any experience with, so. I have to plead ignorance and not actually know what that involves. I guess, obviously, it's... Um, Something to do with the sponsorship of the, of the event, but I well, I think the I think the big thing is is just so that I I've never done a sponsorship program, and I think we need to have kind of a sense of you know what we need to, um, what kind of documentation or you know the prospectus or something along those lines. What do we actually need to give, and what should the prices be, and what for you know. You get, uh, right. you have, you pay X, you get Y, kind of thing. Right, right. I see. Um, uh, I don't mind. I don't mind helping if if you, you need more people. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you. Anyone else? All right. Um, evaluate ticket pricing for similar events. Um, <clears throat> this is probably a little bit of a this is kind of dependent upon the budget and um, what budget we think we're going to have. Uh, I would, I would ideally like to have a very low ticket price, if not nothing, but there was some people that were suggesting that maybe it would be better instead of having no ticket or having free tickets to have a slightly, um, a very minimal um, ticket. Um, so I'm just kind of curious about, let's evaluate what, events that are of similar size and, and you know, community size and, and participation, would we, um, uh, you, what do they charge? So. Is, is there a requirement to have, you know, like financial one, to have pricing at all for the ticket? 
It, it, that's partially budget. I mean, if it depends how much we spend in budget and how much how many sponsorships we get. So um, there isn't a requirement, no, but there were some people that suggested that we would actually get a better result if we, because you'd have fewer people that would say that they're going to come, but then not, didn't come um, if they had to pay. Eric, you can you can put my name down there if, when I evaluate, you know, events with sponsorships. I can uh, evaluate tickets as well. Okay. And and Luca, I think we would, without a doubt, of course, the core team for Open WRT well, lead would get would be welcome at no cost. No, that's fine. But um, how to say? Uh, is there any cost related to the people not showing up? You know. So is it like a bigger room then cost more, or is there like, like a social event? I, I, or? No, I think it, well, it was uh, the fact of turning other people away if it's more and more popular that you stop taking registrations and then mm -hmm. people don't show, so that's a barrier. And then certainly for the social events, you have to plan in advance how much you're going to prepare for, and you could prepare way too much. If people don't show. Yeah, the 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 other thing that's uh, that and the catering. It, it, we were pro. We had about forty percent no show. If not, I think it was actually more than that this year. Um, and that we were told by Linux Foundation that's normal for a free event. That it often is that um, high. Uh, I I actually have no real preference. In fact, I would kind of prefer it to be zero, but. Um, some people suggested that their, a nominal fee might be might give us a better result. I'm not quite sure. I guess now the the, the technical day if we were going to do that is another consideration, right? It's yes. free to offer the ability to do that as well. So I, I think these are all things that that this uh, this group would want to consider and. Um, as a note, most of these um, uh, tasks, I specifically put them as they're really more of the the legwork of a task. It's not the making the decision um, because I kind of assumed that this group would want to make the decisions on, on these things, the, the final decisions. But we kind of need to get the the data for for the group to be able to make the decision. So um, that's why I, I said – I agree. And yeah, Eric, what I wanted to point out, when you make uh, the, when you do the research and you provide the data to this group, provide all the data you can and maybe with some any pros and cons you've gleaned so that it's a little easier when we do the due diligence to make a decision. We say, okay, we considered A, B, C, and D, and we didn't like C because of blah, blah, you know. It just then we have a... a trail of our thinking so that in subsequent years and so forth, if any of these questions come up in our rehash, we have uh, ongoing, we have a trail of information that helps future planning committees. Absolutely. Absolutely. I think that's a great idea. So, um, I can help out with the, uh, the ticket pricing one, too. Um, Uh, you could just uh, you could just fill your name in and call them C and just go Control D and yeah <laughs> yeah yeah I'm trying to avoid that but um <laughs> um the proposing a budget for the event I need to do the legwork on that because I need to get what our budget what we spent last year um which I weren't I mean I don't foresee us spending that much again but um. That is that is on me to get the legwork of what we already spent to get us a sense of what the budget would be. Um, recruit sponsors. All right, oh, is there anyone else who wants to help with the budget? All right. Um, the uh, recruit sponsors sell the event to them. I feel like, I think Bedrick said he could do this uh, either way. I may not have, I think I forgot to put him on there. Um, we have Kathy Bedrick. Is there anybody else who, who 
has any interest in doing this? All right. Um, we will go ahead with uh, Kathy and Bederick and uh, with that. The Research Technical Day event location. Um, we have no one currently. Uh, is there any sense of um, anyone who wants to help with that? Okay, Federico. Uh, that is partially, of course we can't uh, agree on the on where the research the location until we actually have decided on a location for the general event but um, that would be kind of something that we would we would want you would be want want to take on after that um, the research the social event location after party um, Bedrick volunteered to do that if in Prague um, which makes sense because it's kind of closer for them. Is there anybody else who, who is interested in helping with that? That sounds like an easy one I can help with if needed. You're you're willing to help help research the party stuff, Paul? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you're gonna twist my arm, Eric. <laughs> um Researching catering options. Uh, Bedrick also volunteered to do that if in Prague. All right. Um, I can either do that or I can get somebody from Purple to do that. We actually have a, a staffer who is, I'll put that there. Um, that she's an uh, administrative assistant and she does a lot of this kind of stuff. So maybe I could have her uh, do that. Um, yeah, that that's not actually a terrible idea, Federico, that maybe we should just do it in Prague. I was kind of hoping Bedrick could be here so we could get a little bit more of a, a sense, but that I tend to think that the fact that CZ Nick is willing to put in so much time and effort is would be very valuable to uh, making this more straightforward. Um, manage the OpenWT Summit website. Antonio volunteered to do that. Is there anybody else? I mean, I, I can do a little bit of that, but um, it's just more of a, a bit of a, it's just work more than anything. Although, although it can be as much as you want. I mean, if, you, if somebody wants to totally redesign it, I mean, I think it, it needs a redesign and it would be useful to actually have old information and, you know, kind of a, a, on a menu system and, you know, put things in proper places. But it can be as much or as little as you want, I think. All right. Uh, Eric. Yep. Uh, I think that I would need uh, some kind, uh, some a contact person who I should uh, communicate with in order to get the information straight and uh, be able to update uh, that, information correctly. That that contact person is me. It's on a purple server, so I can I can get you all the all the information you need. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Uh, Antonio, you are you are the guy apparently then for this. Um, run any social networking accounts we wanted for the summit. Uh, Tamara volunteered to do that, um, as well as Federico. Um, anyone else who wants to help with this kind of the social networking stuff? I don't know if we need more than two people on that, but. Uh, we don't have any currently, Federico. Actually, that's uh, that's partly uh, one of the things you would do uh, is uh, is help decide on on the accounts and get those set up. Uh, probably Twitter. I, I think the big ones are Twitter. Um, we could just have a YouTube account for uh, OpenWRT Summit. In the past, we've just kind of shared the the account um, between. 
uh, either purple or the or the um, the uh, videographer that we had uh, last year. He he kind of just put that in his account, which was fine. It worked um, since we had links to it, but it's probably yeah. I think those are going to be the two big ones. Well, do we already have a purple um, Facebook and LinkedIn accounts? Purple has a LinkedIn account. I don't know if we have a Facebook account. It's if it if it is, it's not used very much. There is a Twitter account, but it's not particularly used. We don't have anybody. Because well, so, we we could just use the existing accounts. That sure. Well, I the, think that would be easier. Well, the question is is whether the summit itself wants one. I don't know. Um. Does OpenWRT or Lee have social media accounts? Luca, do you know? They, they have, but they are not used much to my knowledge. Well, yeah, this is a good open question. Open. Is well, I think that should be part of the... The task is evaluate which account, which existing accounts to use, or whether to create new accounts. Because if the purple accounts and the OpenWRT or lead accounts for social media aren't used much, then creating yet another account means it's probably not going to be used much. And it's always better to have some traction or followers of an existing account if possible. That's you create an account, you have no followers, you have no media, you know, you know, you know broadcast. Yeah, that's true. That's not a bad idea. Yeah. So at least you get some existing traction <laughs> from existing accounts. I think, yeah. The, I mean, the go ahead. Sorry, Paul. Eric. I was going to say that the team here have been doing um, proper science uh, on how to improve shares and stuff, mostly in LinkedIn, so I don't know if you want to use that. It may not be the right platform, but... Uh, We've actually seen graphs every week now of how various shares about Creator um, have spread and ways of improving that spread from uh, sharing at defined times and all this stuff. I don't know how interested you guys be in that, but that just to let you know if you want tips. Now the key thing is going to be getting the open key community to share within their own uh, social media circles. Anyone who's yes. popular who has a lot of followers, or any of the companies that are sponsors. Um, that would be another key thing, is get sponsor companies to put it on their social media. Yes, that and that's definitely, I think, part of this is, is, is I, I see this partially as, as understanding where to act, or getting the content out there so that sponsors or interested parties can actually do that. Um, because in the past, it, that just isn't something that we addressed because we didn't have the resources. I think the hashtag suggestion from Frederick is a good one. I agree with that, definitely. I, I think this is probably a little broader than run. Now it's more just understand what is needed and what is the best option, if any, for well, which and, and accounts. Set, and, up a plan, set up a plan, like how, yes. how can we... Um, link to other people's networks as you know, sponsors and stuff. So just, yeah, basically yeah. plan the use of social media. Mm -hmm. All right. Anyone else who, who wants to uh, be involved in this, other than Tamara and Federico? All right. Uh, next thing is the prepare the speaker announcement press release. Uh, we have Kathy for that. Um, anyone else? I guess I'll put my name there. We'll go with that. Um, and this isn't an immediate thing, so oh, Federico would also want to um, the the a lot of these towards the bottom aren't immediate so it's you know even if you uh, aren't sure if you can do it now you could change your mind later 
Um, recruit speakers. Currently, um, I don't know. I, there may have been a few other people who said recruit speakers that I forgot to put down on here. Federico, did you say that you wanted to help recruit speakers? Okay, Federico. Um, you also want to be in books and letters. Hans, yeah, you wanted to? Okay. Yeah. Um, and I'm sure we can have additional people as we go. I'm, it, it's more of a... These are the one. These are the people that kind of you know head up, like making get get some sense of what who are the people we want to target and actually get them and, and things like that. Um, so I'm sure there's going to be lots of other people who are going to uh, express that they want to uh, also or, or are going to help recruit speakers anyway. Um, the design logo for event. Uh, we have Andre, Andre from uh, who's involved with Sartura. I don't think uh, Andre is on the call. Yes. So when uh, I saw the list of tasks, um, I reached out to him, and uh, he said that he can do the logo. Possibly other things. He definitely promised the logo, but uh, yeah, we will see. Regarding at the time, this becomes actual. Uh, if he can help out with other items. Yeah. Okay. And this is down the road, so it's not an immediate. We know this. So awesome. Yeah. Okay. All right. Anyone else? I, I don't think we need more than one person to work on the logo. Now I think about it. Um, recruit key participants from the from the OpenWRT League community. We have uh, D Davar, Luca, Kathy, Federico. Um, Anyone else who just wants to put their name on there to kind of head up uh, targeting and, you know, getting participants? All right. Uh, recruit, uh, recruit sessions for, oh, oh, Tamara. Tamara would help. Um, all right. Thank you, Tamara. Um, this one depends on what's, what you want to do during the technical day. Uh, the recruit sessions. Say that again, Federico. I'm not sure I understand. Well, Federico is typing. Did we define what the technical day session will look like? No, that that's actually kind of I think part of the 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 question. Um, yeah, that I see that as as one of the same grid, isn't it? So whoever's taking this role on will kind of suggest options for the technical day and ways to achieve that, I guess. Yeah, I think that I think that that's part of that, and that's kind of gets connected into the researching. Um, I, so I, I do understand that Federico that you are interested in doing that okay awesome um, so uh, the, I think this is actually probably connected to the researching technical days but that part of this is, is figuring out what what it is we want to do um, because we've we've had people express interest in this and but it's still kind of amorphous and not really uh, firm down what exactly this would be All right. I will. I will put it in uh, in Paul and Federico's uh, uh, hands on this one. Um, um, I also want to be involved on that. Uh, it can also put my name on that. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. Um, evaluate proposals. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, well, I don't know if you need to put my name on, but you can you can ask me because I'd love to volunteer some of the Arduino engineers that run the Open Liberty on the Unity and platforms, and they could do workshops at the event. Okay. Yep. I will I will add you there as well, so we have names. Uh, in retrospect, I'm not quite sure why I put evaluate proposals because I kind of figured everyone would evaluate the proposals. <laughs> Um, so in retrospect, that was a poor choice. 
Um, just change names to everyone. Everyone is going to do this, yes. I... Um, design t-shirt for event. That this is kind of one of those if we want it. It's, I, I don't know. Bedrick volunteered to do that if we are in um, Prague. Um, I have no real preference if if we need to, to sign anyone else right now or or because since we don't know if we're going to do this. Anyone else want their name on there? This isn't much of a of a um, uh, volunteering right now. All right. Uh, the prepare event press releases, both for the summit and uh, for sponsors and participants to use. Uh, we have Antonio and uh, Kathy. Uh, would anyone else like to do this or put their name on there? This is again is something that's a it's a, it's pretty early, so you don't have to. It's not much of a commitment right now. <clears throat> All right. Um. The uh, day of event logistics. Uh, Bedrick said they w said he would help if it's in Prague. Um, I'll put my name on there because I've done that in the past. Anyone else who wants to wants to volunteer on, on that kind of stuff? All right. Uh, those are the things that I had on my list. Um, this is, uh, Kathy had mentioned these other topics that I had not had a chance to, um, let me put them, wrap them so they're a little bit closer. Uh, find, uh, I had not, uh, we had not had anyone volunteer for them because they, because uh, Kathy suggested them later and they're all really good. Um, find local hotel options and reserve a block of rooms at a discount, possibly at two different hotels. Uh, that's, I think probably partially related to the researching and evaluating possible locations, but not quite. So I'm not sure where this should go. Um, does uh, anybody... Well, presumably, presumably the information we need out of the person who's researching and evaluating locations yes. uh, would be, well, okay. There'd be I a little not bit. necessarily the, yeah. Hmm. Good point. Um, I mean, if, if they're evaluating researching locations, one of the things will be hotel possibilities. So maybe that will come up. Um, I, I mean, I can volunteer for these things. Um, if somebody else wants to volunteer, does somebody else want to volunteer for either of these? It might be nice to find a local travel agent once we determine the city and, uh, Maybe just ask for help from a local travel person. Yes, I would agree. That's a good idea. Um, the other thing is uh, gather prizes to offer in a raffle. Um, uh, does anyone else want to want to take that on? I'm I'm not hearing a lot of uh, you can, love. You, you can put my name in for now. Okay. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll throw out the idea. <laughs> All right. Um, gather swag I can, from. I can help with gather swag too, since I'm helping find sponsors. All right. Uh, make sure the venue has Diet Coke for Eric and coffee. I thank you <laughs> for your concern, Kathy, particularly that my my needs for Diet Coke and and certainly coffee. Um, yeah, this is kind of like the – this and the first two are very much um, – it's not day of event logistics, but it's kind of like pre-event logistics of, you know, kind of getting the information, or, you know, getting a sense, making sure everything's ready. Um, this probably also relates to catering options. Um, the last one was, was a joke. 
just oh. for you. Okay, well, I appreciate that. I also appreciate your concern because it's a, it's a vital issue. I agree. Um, all right. Um, Eric will make sure he has his own Diet Coke. Um, all right. So we kind of have every, everything covered here. <clears throat> uh, the one the, – the next thing is really, uh, I think, what are the things we need, we need to get done in, say, the next, you know, uh, next coming weeks? Um, I don't think it's two weeks because some of these are going to be a little more than that. Um, but uh, what are the ones we need to do right now? And I think that is uh, the researching possible events, evaluating sponsorship programs, evaluating ticket pricing, and proposing a budget. Um, uh, yeah, I would say sort of money first for sure. Yes. Kind of difficult uh, to do much else without that. Yeah. Is there anything else that we should do ahead of time or, um, you know, a sign right now, so to speak? I don't suppose you, it would prevent you from doing things like logos and T-shirts. That's true. Yeah. Uh, do we have a target, target time frame in mind? Is it still fall? That's what I had done. Maybe that's part of the researching and valuing possible locations is when the heck we're going to do this. I, I assumed we would just do October again, or somewhere in that area. Um, one thing that I would want to, that that I'll note to the people that are researching evaluating possible locations is, while Bedrick has has been very strong on Prague, is ELCE is actually in Prague this year uh, at the end of October. Whether we want to co-locate or sim or even be, we're going to be in the same city like a day before, but not at the event site. That's also another possibility. Um, I, my, yeah, my gut feel there is we, we should take advantage of the fact that it's there, but not overlap it and probably not co-locate just because you, you mentioned last time that the co-location fees were It is quite high. It's extremely expensive. It was almost $10,000 this year. Um, and it was so about $10,000 last year too. The hotels get busy at the same time, but if you could pick something before or after, mm -hmm. then, then you don't have a problem. No, definitely. I completely agree. I, I, I think that that would be... So I think that the likelihood is that this is probably going to be Prague, um, but uh, it would be good to kind of get a sense. So if you have any other suggestions on a different place than Prague um, that you really think we should consider... Um, and also, I mean, we should probably decide, you know, on what kind of, uh, on date too, I mean, or, or time of the year. I mean, do we still want to go with kind of October again? Is there any reason not to? Yeah, I think that, that's one thing you and Paul and Edric should just coordinate on and get maybe two options on dates to for to send it around to the group and then and uh, get some feedback on it. But as soon as we can close on a location and a date, that helps everything else. Okay. You were going to say something, Paul? Uh, it was just that, you know, um, most of these conferences are yearly, and I suppose if people, the way people would normally think is, oh, I, I wonder if the Open WT conference is on again soon because it's mm -hmm. coming up to the that time of year. So I would say it may be better to have it roughly at the same time. Okay. All right. We we can we can we'll definitely uh look at October and then we can maybe um look at something a little earlier, but we can't I mean you certainly can't go too much earlier or too much later. Or you could go later, but you can't go too much earlier simply because of the timing and to get everything done in time. So, we will we can look at that as an idea. Um Are there any other t topics that people want to start working on? I mean, we don't really necessarily need to assign them, but I mean, you're certainly welcome to work on a topic that you know isn't doesn't need to be done right away, but can be done. Things like, you know, as as Paul mentioned, the logo or T-shirt or any of those things. Well, I think as soon as we have a location and date, and we can get up a, a, a website, even a basic coming soon. 
uh, website that has the date and location, that makes it a lot easier to do sponsorships and all that other kind of stuff where we can point someone to a website already. Oh yeah, definitely, totally. That that's going to get a lot easier. Um, all right. Uh, so the first four things that we kind of have to get done um, before we go too much, you know, those are the things we want to get done. What kind of schedule do we want on those? Um, <clears throat> do we want to uh, say three weeks? Is that enough time for the first three? Um, can can we work backwards a little bit? If assuming we're in September, October, what was it? Uh, is there any known sort of deadlines for things going backwards so that we can try and work stuff out from that? Uh, sure. Well, I mean, the deadlines would be um, uh, it would you know for doing uh, the s recruiting speakers, you have to do that about at least two months early. You have uh -huh. to open up the open up the um, uh, the submissions. Uh, I would do it a little earlier. I, I think I, you know, this kind of on my end, the last two years have been a little later than I think, so we would want to do that probably two and a half months early. It gives you a little more time. Um, then you have to, from there, uh, there isn't a whole lot of um, set deadlines that I remember. Uh, okay. the, the big things are sched, you know, the getting the uh, social event that w we did that pretty late last year. We did that about a month and a half ahead of time, so it was a little tougher to find a spot. Um, and uh, the um, what else? Location. There could you could have issues with conflicts if you go too much farther. Um, <clears throat> Uh, it, it, the earlier the better with that. I don't think there's a particular date or deadline, but how, earlier the How about, um, I guess we'll have another summit meeting in the next few weeks. Uh, it, may be, it may be the case that we say for each of these categories, the people who are looking into them could at least come back with some comments about when they think they're likely to start or uh, what they're waiting on and stuff like this. Because the other question I was going to have is, Okay, so if we all walk away now, I know I'm on certain uh, te certain teams to look at stuff, but mm -hmm. uh, there isn't necessarily a lead or anyone to poke people if they're not doing anything. So maybe it can be a case of trying to sort of just get s some extra input between meetings or something. Oh yeah, definitely. We have to. We would have to do stuff between meetings. I'm not. I mean, just updates in each meeting. So it's up to the team to make sure they have a. Uh, some feedback on what they've done or what they plan to do. Yeah, by I next think, meeting. Is I think that, that's, you were thinking that way anyway. Okay. Yeah, that's a good idea. No, I totally agree with that. Totally agree with that. Um, so, so I, I would suggest then anything which doesn't have to start immediately. It is just the case of let's let's get some feedback from the, that team about what they they plan to do for next meeting. Okay. So. If there, if it is not one of the first four items, then you please give feedback. Is that kind of what you're thinking? I'm thinking uh, we we probably want. So, for example, let's take uh, da, 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 something which relies on a budget. Okay, so the first thing that that team's going to be wanting to say is, well, until we have a budget, I don't think we can do very much on this. And so at least we know then that they've thought about it and have this blocker, uh, which then gives the team who are doing the budget a, a bit more information about what they need to do for them and unblocking them. It's a way of kind of networking the plan, if you like, <laughs> sort of crowdsourcing the plan. Well, I, I mean, I think that makes sense. Yeah, no, I, I understand what you're saying. Um, all right, so I guess what we'll do is... Um, we don't want to have a commitment on, on to have the first four done in any particular time period immediately, but more just let's make some progress on these. Yeah. Um, and I don't think we have a deadline in like the next month or two that we have to have this done, but it would be good. Let's, let's make progress on these. Um, because the sooner, certainly the sooner we get them done, 
the less we're going to have to rush later in the year and uh, the better we're going to get, especially for the sponsorship and things like that. Um, so when do we want to meet again? Do you want to do two weeks or is that too soon or um, I don't want to go too long because I want to keep the momentum going, certainly. Uh, two or three, I would suggest. I'd like, to, yeah, I'd like to rotate back in two weeks just to close on the location dates as quickly as possible. Okay. All right. Um, we will do two weeks then at the same time. And then let's let's really try to get the location uh, firm down. And I'll, and I'll talk with Bedrick about what exactly, what information they have on Prague, because that does seem like a, a very good choice considering CZ Nick is volunteering quite a bit of, of, of help um, if it's there. Um, all right, we will meet again in two weeks. That is the 8th of March. Um, Uh-oh. I just had a thought. 8th of March, what day is that? Da, 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 da. Oh, okay, uh, we might be all right. <laughs> the day before I go in for surgery. Oh. And then I'm out for a few weeks. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, all right. All right. Um, so we will work on the 8th of, we'll do it on the 8th of March at the same time, uh, 7 a.m. Pacific time. I'm sorry, Kathy. Um, and uh, we will we will go from there, and I will then share this uh, uh, this spreadsheet on the list, um, so we have a uh, so people have a record of what they're doing and and everything along those lines. Uh, and we will have a goal of trying to get the location kind of report back by the uh, um, by uh, the next meeting. Anything else that folks wanted to wanted to talk about, or anything else we should put on the kind of things to get done? I, I would only suggest that for all the others, it may be worth at least inputting something about um, uh, this is something I think I, we can do straight away, and, and we might start at this point, or we've already started and we've done this, or we're blocked on this. Definitely, yes. Everyone should, you know, please do. Think at the very least. Think about what you're, you know, your, you know, what you've volunteered for. What what needs to get done, and anything that is dependent upon anyone else. So we uh, know the blockers as early as possible. Yeah, because it may be the case that that you know a team thinks they're blocked on something, and actually when we discuss it as a group, yeah, it may be the case that we can agree that there's actually misunderstood, or there's some other way we can work around it, things like that. All right. Sounds good. Anything else from anyone? Did, did you want to share this uh, Google Doc, or did you want to uh, just keep this to yourself? Oh, I was going to share it. I was going to I was going to share it on the list. On the email, we still have the same summit committee. Summit email. committee. Yep. Cool. All right. Great. Awesome. Well, thank you everyone for joining. Thank you for uh, for volunteering and. Uh, we will uh, we'll take it from there in two weeks. So please please uh, work on it, and and uh, we'll get your feedback and and reports and and whatnot in two weeks. Great. All right. Thanks. Thank you, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.